Now in this lesson we do some work on comparing areas. Example. Now we have a grid there, but we don't know whether it's a square centimetre grid. We're not told. So we're going to refer to these areas as in square units. The first one there, shape A, shape B, shape C, shape D, and shape E. In part A we're asked, which shape has the greatest area? Well, let's work out each area firstly. In shape A, let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It has an area of 8 square units. Shape B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It has an area of 10 square units. Shape C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 has an area of 8 square units. Shape D, 1, 2, 3, 4, an area of 4 square units. Shape E, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, an area of 12 square units. So back to the question, which one has the greatest area? Well, you can see shape E. Okay, it has the greatest area there. Which shape has the least or smallest area? Well, the least or smallest, we can see that shape D, only an area of four square units. So that is our answer. Which shapes have this same area? Well, we can see that shape A and shape C both have areas of eight square units. So the answer, shapes A and C. Now let's take a look at an introduction to trading. Example 1. We've got 52 minus 15. We're going to use the tens and the ones to help us out here. So we start with 52, which of course is made up of, in this lesson we do some more work on two digit addition. Examples. The first one, 74 plus 19. Let's bring some working out space and let's rewrite the question. Now starting in the units column, 